honey. Have fun at your sleepover. Bye, Mom. Oh, hi, Alicia. Come on in. I think Jenna's downstairs. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Smith. Hey, over here. Dude, your house is awesome. Oh, thanks. Do you have the whole basement to yourself? No, my brother's room's right here. This is Jack. So, whoa, who's your friend? Ew, don't even think about it. You know my friends are off limits. Sorry, he's gross. Oh, it's okay. So, I was thinking we could sleep on the trampoline tonight. Are you down? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Okay, grab some pillows and we can just share my blanket. Hey, you keep stealing the blankets and it's freezing. Ugh. Oh, perfect. Hey, where'd you go last night? I heard you get up. Oh, I was just cold, so I went inside and grabbed another blanket. Uh-oh. What? That's my mom's fancy blanket. We're not supposed to use it. I'm sorry, I had no idea. It's okay, let's just sneak it back inside real quick. Jenna May? Yes? I just got your report card in the mail. A C minus in algebra? Okay, you know I'm bad at math. This is unacceptable. Why can't you be more like your brother? Hey, this is awkward. I'm gonna have my mom come pick me up. No, it's fine. You think Jack is so perfect, but he sneaks girls in here all the time. What the heck, dude? I thought you had my back. That's it. Both of you, go to your rooms. Oh, come on. I'm actually gonna head home i'll see you at school hey, honey call me if you need anything okay okay bye mom hey you made it come on my mom just made a frozen pizza yes i'm starving uh mom where's the pizza it should be on the counter well it's not here jack someone say my name dude mom made that pizza for us sorry i just dropped down to silver five and it's stressing me out i need a snack whatever come on let's go find something else to eat wait i have a question for your friend um is she like paying you to hang out with her or something because like shut up god he's such a jerk sometimes come on let's go make another pizza all right i'm just gonna run and use the bathroom real quick okay oh don't be surprised if peaches shows up she loves following people to the bathroom oh hi peaches Oh my god. Hey, are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm fine. Mom, I need you to come get me. What? Why? I just dropped you off. I clogged their toilet like bad. Okay, calm down. Did you try flushing it again? No, one second. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yo, are you sure you're okay? I heard yelling. Yeah, one second. Mom, it overflowed everywhere. What do I do? If you're having issues, my mom has fiber bars. Just tell her what happened. She'll understand. Oh my god, okay. Hey, Jenna, um, I on accident clogged your toilet. Oh no, did you use the bathroom downstairs? Yes. Oh, I should have told you, that toilet does not work very well. Oh, my dad said he was gonna fix it, but that was like six months ago. My parents have almost got divorced over this. I'm sorry, I should have asked. And sorry about your parents. No, it's fine. Honestly, they probably should get divorced, I guess. So, I've been thinking, we should try to pull an all-nighter tonight. Night. Binge watch as many movies as we can. Yes, ooh, we should watch a scary movie first. Oh my god, yes, just promise me you won't fall asleep. Pinky promise. <sighs> can I have a bite of that? A small one. Okay. Seriously? What? Here, I got you a present to make up for it. A present? Yeah. <sighs> babe, don't pretend like you don't love it. Okay, I'm gonna go shower. Hey, babe, look at this. Oh my god. What, you don't like my dance moves? I loved it so much. Thank you. Oh, come downstairs. I want to show you my new clothes. Okay, more clothes. Okay, so this is the first one. Ooh, turn around. Okay. Okay, you've been squatting or something? Shut up. No, for real, that is a nice caboose. I mean, it's not as nice as mine, but... No, seriously, how is yours so juicy? I guess I'm just blessed. Babe, hey, what are you doing? I'm washing my face. With hand soap? Yeah, it smells good. Here, use this. No thanks, I tried using one of my sister's fancy girl soaps one time and it gave me acne. Okay, you hungry? I'm gonna go grab a snack. Ooh, yes please. Hey, where are the leftovers from last night? The chicken strips? Yeah, I could have sworn they were in here. Sorry, babe, I got really hungry after the gym and needed some protein. Ugh, dang it. Hey, babe. <laughs> Jeez, you scared me. You gotta be more vigilant, I guess. I'm gonna get you back, you know? No, leave my cakes alone. They're off limits. Hey, I can't sleep. I'm gonna go play video games. No, come here. Let's snuggle. Okay, well, can I be the little spoon? Yes. Oh my god, did you hear that? It sounds like someone's in the house. Hey guys, sorry to bother you. Ah! Baby, I need you to call 911. Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna hurt you guys. Here, my name's John. Wait, I'm confused. Okay, so I'm a friendly criminal. Here's my card. A friendly criminal? Yeah, so unfortunately you are getting robbed, but I'm not gonna be a jerk about it. Oh my god, we're getting robbed. So, is there anything that you guys don't use anymore? An old PlayStation, some shoes that don't fit? Yeah, yes, there's a bag of old clothes that I was gonna take to Goodwill in the closet. Perfect, and it's already all bagged up for me. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Now please, get out. Okay. Oh my god. This bathtub is huge. Okay, can I be honest with you guys for a second? Sure. The whole reason I got into this home invasion stuff is because I'm building a house right now and I love getting inspiration from all the gorgeous homes in this area. What? Yeah, you became a criminal to get style inspo? Oh, no, no. I used to do commercial stuff, robbing banks, ATMs, stuff like that, but that just felt so empty to me, you know? Plus, I love meeting new people like you guys. Oh my god, he's crazy. Oh my goodness, who's this? That's our dog, Peaches. Peaches, get him. You know, a house just isn't a home without a dog. I have a Pomeranian at home. Cool, but just so you know, we have an alarm system, so the cops are gonna be here like any minute. Seriously, man? Okay, well, here. What's this for? That's to buy a new window. I had to break one downstairs to get in. One dollar? Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, do you mind if I grab the TV downstairs? Yeah, that's fine. What? No! Y'all are the best. Okay, bye.
Alright, you kids ready to go? Ready? Yep, ready, Mom. Hey, why are you wearing my clothes? Because they're comfy. Okay, well, they're mine. Honey, why don't you just wear the new t shirt and shorts your grandma got you for your birthday? Ew, no, it has pink on it. Matthew, is it okay if your sister wears this just for today? Fine. Okay, now give each other a hug or something because we have a long drive ahead of us and I will not have you two fighting in the back the whole time. Oh, no. Yeah, no way. A high five? Fine. Why are your hands so dirty? Oh, I was playing outside with the kids who just moved in next door. Yeah, they were playing some lame princess game. Was not. We were playing knights and castles, okay? Lily was the princess who was stuck up in the tree and me and Marcus were the knights who had to go save her. Oh, cool. Yeah, we found sticks that we used as swords and we pretended that Biscuit, the neighbor's dog, was a dragon. It was awesome. That's very cool. Now go wash your hands real quick so we can leave. Fine. Oh, mom, look how hairy my legs are getting. The other day, everyone in my grade compared and other than Timmy B, mine are the hairiest out of everyone. Wow, look at you all grown up. I know, right? They almost look like dads. Pfft, my legs are way hairier than yours. Look, or not, are too. Enough, okay? If you two stop fighting right now, I'll let you watch a movie in the car. Deal. Yep, deal. Okay, now what movie do you want to watch? Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I wish I had a body like Kim Kardashian. Whoa. Babe? Babe, look. Ah! What happened to you? What do you mean? You don't like it? No, you look good, but how? I don't know. It was magic or something. Magic? Yes, look. Magic. Make me a sandwich. What? I promise it worked. Try snapping your fingers or something. Okay, magic. Make me a sandwich. Whoa, make me one. Okay, magic sandwich. Oh my god. Ugh, peanut butter and pickle? What? It's good. Okay, I gotta go. Magic, I think I want a cat. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Mm, I want a new purse. <laughs> no way. Magic, I want to meet Jenna Ortega. Hi, oh my god. Honey? Whoa, hi, Jenna. Hi. So I've been thinking, maybe you should use your powers for good, like, I don't know, end world hunger or something? Right, okay. Bye, Jenna. Bye. Hi, I'm Elon Musk. Hey, listen, dude, we need to talk. Okay, let's talk. It's about world hunger. Ooh. Where'd he go? Looks like Elon has magic powers, too. Hey, um, well, if we can't solve world hunger, then what do you want to do today? I don't know, you want to go to Paris? Uh, yeah, magic, take us to Paris. Hey, can you look at this bump on my back? Yeah, it looks like a zit or an ingrown hair, maybe. Are you sure? I think it might be a spider bite or something. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh my god, I've been getting those headaches, too. I wonder if it has something to do with this. You get headaches because you don't drink enough water. I drink plenty, okay? But there's something going on with these headaches. I know it. Okay, whatever you say. I'm serious. I saw this girl on TikTok who had a really bad headache, so she got an MRI. Boom, brain cancer. Okay, sure, sometimes a headache means brain cancer, but that's not what's happening with you. Statistically speaking, there's about a 1% chance that it is. I Google it. Pretty sure that's not true, but you've got to stop Googling things. I will, just one second. What if I'm pregnant? Well, that would explain the mood swings and irritability. No, seriously, when was my last period? Don't look at me, it's not my hoo oh, I think I'm late. Oh my god, and now I have a rash. Yeah, that's not a rash. It looks like the meningitis rash. No, it looks like marks from the carpet. Were you napping with the cat on the floor again? Maybe. Hey, do you want to hang out today? I wish, I have to work. No, call in sick or something. I can't, I've already had food poisoning twice this month. I'd totally get fired. You know what? that job. Let's just go live in a van like those people in that TikTok I sent you. Yeah, no offense to those people, but I'd rather have diarrhea every day for the rest of my life than live in a van with no shower. Yeah, it would be pretty hard to keep up with my skincare routine. You're still doing that? I'm lucky if I even wash my face every day. And somehow you still have amazing skin. I don't know, genetics, I guess? You're so lucky. Lucky? Remember, these genetics also gave me no no and severe depression. You can just buy those things now. Yeah, with my job that pays 15 an hour. Touche, but you don't need those big old things. You're still a catch. Thanks. Have you been talking to anyone new lately or are you still hung up on your ex from high school? Damn, why you gotta call me out like that? But no, I haven't been seeing anybody. That's fair. I mean, I've dated so many people this year, I might as well just be on The Bachelorette. Yeah, for real. Maybe I should take a page out of your book and cool it for a while. Who knows? Not me. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Ever. You know, I think it's just part of being in your 20s. Hopefully. Ooh, I just got a new match on Tinder. Okay, have fun with that. I gotta get to work. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing great. I see you dyed your hair. Yeah, I just thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Nice. Well, what else has single you been up to? Oh, just the usual. Going to the gym, journaling. Wait, 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 wait. You're going to the gym? Yeah, you want my glute workout? I thought you hated all physical activity that isn't eating or sex. Oh, that's the old me. I'm in my healthy girl growth, yes queen slay era. Hey, good for you. Yeah, Zac Efron liked a picture of me on Instagram. No, he didn't. I'm being so serious. You know, I kind of had an idea that you and Brad broke up when he started posting on your story all the time. Yeah, I post every day, but Brad still hasn't looked at any of my stories. Hey, snap out of it. You're not posting so that Brad sees it and regrets being a bad boyfriend or whatever. You're posting because you're hot and the world deserves to see it. Uh, no, I'm posting so that Brad sees that and realizes how bad he messed up. I mean, I can't blame you, but what happened to the whole healthy, happy single girl thing? I don't know. Some days I want to meditate and drink and other days I just want to stay up till 3 a.m. and Instagram stalk the new girl he's talking to while eating a bucket of Ben and Jerry's. You know, that's fair. It is? Yeah, I mean, you're gonna have good and bad days, but as long as you're still moving forward, I think you're good. Damn, okay. Just maybe cool it on dyeing your hair for a while. Are you sure? I was thinking about going dark with bangs. Mom, watch this. Oh, 
Wow, wow, very cool. Yeah, Timmy taught me how to do it at recess. Oh, is Timmy a new friend? No, he smells like pepperonis. Oh, well, you can still be his friend. No, he said the coolest dinosaur is the T-Rex when it's obviously the Velociraptor. Oof, yeah, can't argue with you there. You want to play dinosaurs with me? Maybe in a minute. Mommy's got to go cook some dinner real quick. Fine. Why don't you go play outside for a little bit? Okay. Honey, dinner's ready. But I already ate. You already ate? Yeah, I made a delicious soup. Look. Mmm, looks yummy, but it's time to come inside and wash up, okay? Okay, look how fast I am. Did you wash your hands? Yes, mom. <laughs> okay, um, dad should be home soon. Are you excited to give him the painting you made in class today? Yeah, it's a really cool painting. It sure is. Um, what's that? Oh, it's me and dad and then you and a bear. Why does the bear have my arm in its mouth? Oh, cause yesterday dad said you act like a hungry bear when you don't have coffee. Oh, did he now? Yeah. And it looks like I'm crying. Mm, cause you cry a lot. And that's your purse and that's your big belly. Mm, I love it, very accurate. Oh, thanks mom. Girl, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I don't know, why? Um, you've got a girlfriend. If I were you, I would make some plans. Oh, no, Lucy's not that type of girl. She doesn't care about all the dumb Valentine's Day stuff. Um, yeah, she does, trust me. No, she said we didn't have to do anything. They all say that, but believe me, I had to learn the hard way. What do you mean? So last year, I was dating Emma, right? Oh, I forgot about Emma. Yeah, Emma with the really nice personality. She was way out of your league. Shut up. So anyways, Valentine's Day comes around, and I was like, hey, you want to Netflix and chill? And she was like, yeah, that sounds good. But she showed up to my house in full makeup, wearing a dress, like she expected me to have some big surprise for her or something. Yeah, I thought he had something planned. I thought we'd just hang out like normal, but she spent the whole night showing me all the cute stuff that her friend's boyfriends got them. It was bad. He didn't even ask me to be his valentine. Whoa, was that why she broke up with you? No, she broke up with me because I accidentally killed her fish when she was out of town visiting her grandma. Right, okay, well, I need some ideas. What should I do? You can do anything, bro. Get her some flowers, chocolate, a handwritten note. It's really pretty easy to make him feel special on Valentine's Day. Okay, yeah, that doesn't seem too hard. It's not. Probably still not gonna do anything, though. You ready to do this or what? Yeah, let's just get it over with. All right, I wrote down a script, so you can just go ahead and read this. Okay, cool. Hey, guys, it's James. I'm a f who cheats on his girlfriend and still sleeps with stuffed animals? I'm not saying that. Why not? It's the truth. Samantha! What? Come on, let's just make the video. No, I knew you were gonna be like this. You know what? We're out of here. No, our fans need to know what's going on. They need closure. Closure? I just came home one day and all of my clothes were in the driveway. Yeah, so? And there was a note on the door that said, we're done, I'm in Mexico, don't call me. How am I supposed to get closure from that? Sorry, but guys who DM other girls don't deserve closure. Oh my god, I'm so using that for my next Instagram caption. Fine, but I'm throwing this away. Well, if we're not telling the world what really happened, then what should we even say? I don't know. We could say it's mutual. Mm, that's good. Like, pretend we're being super mature about it. Yes, very mature. Okay, go set the camera up. Okay, is it recording? Yeah, do I look buff? Yes, unfortunately. Sick, you ready? Hey guys, so some really sad news. Super sad. But James and I have decided mutually that we need some time apart. Not because we don't love each other, but because we need to grow as individuals and work on ourselves before we can love another person. We're still friends and we still- You know what? I can't do this. Yeah, screw this. Dixie D'Amelio, hit me up. Oh my god, what? You see that girl over there? Yeah, with the brown hair? Dude, I went to high school with her and she was so mean to me and all my friends. Really? You weren't popular in high school? No. Oh my god, she's coming over here. Alicia? What? Hey, long time no see. I know, can you believe we graduated nine years ago? Has it really been nine years? Yep, because let's see, I found out I was pregnant with Brinley right after our senior kager and she just had her eighth birthday, so that's nine years. Whoa, you have a kid? Yep, juggling three kids plus nursing school. Wow. What about you? No kids, right? No. Yeah, no kids, but we do have a dog, cat, and a bunny. Oh yeah, I have you on Instagram, so I see you post them all the time. Yeah. Yeah, they're a handful, but we love them. Speaking of Instagram, I noticed you don't follow me anymore. Oh, I got some weird, like, pyramid scheme messages from you. I figured you got hacked or something. Nope, that was me. Oh, well, are you still living in town? Yep, I lived in Arizona for a while, but moved back after Jace was born. What about you? Oh, I'm just in town visiting family. It's my dad's birthday. Oh, nice. Well, I mean, not much has changed around here. We got a new pizza restaurant. Yeah, I saw, but, um, we should get going. Okay, girl, well, don't be a stranger. Okay, bye. Oh, my God. What? She seems nice. No, she was, which is weird, but I don't know. Running into people from high school is just awkward. Oh my god, there's Cody. Oh, he's so hot. Girl, I'm tired of hearing you blab about him every day. Just go talk to him. About what? He's the star freaking quarterback and I'm just a biochem major. Y'all have a class together though, right? Right. So just go up to him after class today and I don't know, talk about the professor or something. <sighs> okay, fine. Oh my god, Mr. Sampson's class is so boring. Tell me about it. He lectures the whole hour and just expects us to like sit there. What is that? I mean, I take notes, but... Oh, I haven't taken notes in years. What? How do you study? Oh, I just copy other people's notes. I mean, I guess that's one of the perks of being me. You know, lots of people willing to give you their notes. Yeah, that makes sense. So, could I copy your notes? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, um, I don't have a pen and paper right now, so do you just want to come over to my dorm or something later? Oh, you don't need a pen and paper, just use Cam Scanner. Cam what? Here, it's an app that lets you scan any document directly to your phone. You can just take a picture of my notes, and then it instantly converts it to a PDF, Word document, PowerPoint, anything you want. Oh, and one of my personal favorite features, the smudge tool, so you can fix any unwanted mistakes. And let me just add one more thing real quick. Okay, perfect. Whoa, it's so clear, and now I can just save this to my phone? Yep. Oh, what's that in your hand? I was just gonna give you my phone number in case you had a hard time finding my dorm, but I guess since I have the notes now, you won't be needing it. No, wait. Hey, you're a lifesaver.
So it's Luke M and welcome to a day in my life. Usually my mom wakes me up at like 7.30 for school, but we're on Christmas break, so today I gotta sleep in. Let's go downstairs and see what my mom made for breakfast. I'm starving. Yo, mom, what's for breakfast? Breakfast? It's one in the afternoon. Oops, me and my best friend Drew stayed up all night playing video games. Bro, I'm stunned. Revive me, revive me. Today I'm going to hang out with my girlfriend Lexi, and I'm gonna be late if I don't hurry, so I guess I'll just have some protein powder. Luke is Michael. Like I said, I'm gonna hang out with my girlfriend Lexi today, so I'm making sure I brush extra good. Ever since Lexi got in trouble, we haven't been able to hang out like at all. But her dad's having surgery today, so her parents are gonna be gone like all day. Hey, don't look at me like that. It's just a knee replacement. I don't have my driver's license yet, so my mom still has to drive me everywhere. Mom, hurry up! Ugh, I love the boy, but I'm counting down the days until he moves to college. Oh my god, I just got back home from Lexi's house, and I'm freaking out. So picture this. We're sitting on her couch watching a movie, kissing a little bit, and all of a sudden her aunt walks in the door carrying a huge thing of casserole. I had to hide under the blankets for like 10 minutes while she talked to her aunt, but I don't think she knew I was there, or that would have been bad. For dinner, I'm gonna have ramen and maybe some frozen chicken nuggets. My mom's been begging me to watch a movie with her, so tonight we're watching the notebook it's a classic it looks stupid okay well now that i can't stop crying i guess i'll go to bed good night hey it looks like somebody's up early today please don't talk to me Jeez, looks like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed shouldn't you be going on your morning run or something oh i got back like a half hour ago i'm listening to this new podcast that says you should do six things that scare you before 6 a.m why that sounds horrible you should listen to it you might find it enlightening no thanks okay well you should at least eat some breakfast fine i'll make some ramen alicia you're 26 you shouldn't be eating ramen for breakfast all right i'll have a granola bar okay i'm gonna go take an ice cold shower now we should have hot water i haven't showered yet oh no the podcast i was listening to today was talking about the benefits of shocking your nervous system every day with cold water so i'm gonna go try it i'm so excited okay have fun with that i'm just gonna close my eyes for like one second Welcome to the burger place. What can I get started for you? Hey, don't be weird. What? I don't know. You just looked like you were going to be awkward. Okay, well, I wasn't. Yeah, I doubt that. But hurry, there's a line of cars behind you. Okay. Hi, can I get the four-piece chicken strips with the Dr. Pepper? Our soda machine's actually broken right now. Can I get you something else? Oh, yeah, I'll take a Pepsi instead. Bro, she said the soda machine was broken and you asked for a Pepsi. God, you look so silly right now. Sorry, ma'am. We don't have Pepsi either. Okay, just give me one second. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm just looking at my options. I could do lemonade. Drive. What? You're taking way too long. Just drive. We can eat at home. Stop. Yeah, um, I'll just have the lemonade. Lemonade. Okay, your total is gonna be twelve sixty eight at the second window. Thank you. Total's twelve sixty eight. One second. Uh oh, where's your wallet? God, your purse is a mess. Okay, here you go. What if your card got declined? What would you even do? Do you have cash on you just in case? No, but it won't. I just got paid. Okay, but what if it did? It's just gonna ask you a quick question right there. Oof, awkward. Why is it awkward? Because she's asking for a tip while she's staring directly at you. Plus, it's kind of weird to tip at a drive thru. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so no tip. Dang, savage. You told me no tip. Hey, don't blame me. I just hope she doesn't spit in your food or something. What? All right, ma'am. Enjoy your food. Thanks, you too. She said enjoy your food and you said you too. <laughs> oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Stop. Oh, they gave me the wrong thing. I'm gonna go back real quick. No, that would be so awkward. Just eat the burger. Okay, fine. Oh, Luke M, I can't believe Christmas break's almost over. I know, right? It's no fair. My sister's in college and she gets like a month off. Seriously? Well, did you get any cool presents? Not really. My mom went on this wellness retreat last month with some of her weird hippie friends, so now we're living as minimalists. Well, that sucks. I got a PlayStation. Seriously? Yeah, I've been gaming and eating leftover Christmas cookies like nonstop. Those carrots are the first vegetable I've seen in like a week and a half. Well, there's more where that came from. Oh, and my mom made some dark chocolate chickpea pudding. If you're still hungry. Ugh, no thanks. So how'd you end up doing on the history final? Bad? I had no idea that a cumulative test would have everything from the whole quarter on it. Yeah, welcome to high school. Like, how am I supposed to remember stuff from months ago? I can't even remember what I ate for dinner last night. I had corn chowder. See, how do you remember that? Because there was corn in my poop this morning. Oh. So have you heard from Lexi lately? Yeah, her parents gave her her phone back for Christmas, so we've been talking on the phone for like five hours every night. Five hours? Don't you get bored? No, not with her. Have you ever felt like that with someone? No. But you know Cassie, Lexi's best friend? Yeah. Well, I guess my mom is friends with her mom so we ended up hanging out at this super lame christmas party our moms drug us to Ooh, here's a picture we took together oh my god i've been saying this forever you guys need to date i know i know but she did invite me to a new year's eve party oh my god new year's eve is my favorite holiday because that's when troy and gabriella met in high school musical i know but apparently her parents are just like super chill and are letting her have a party that's so cool yeah it's gonna be epic you want to come heck yeah i want to go Luke, honey dinner's ready Ugh, mom made tofu and brussels sprouts for dinner do you want to go to your house and play playstation instead yeah let's go Guys, it's Mrs. Johnson, and this is a day in my life. For breakfast, I'm having a piece of cheese and a tiny little bit of wine, but don't judge me. It's a special occasion. Today's Christmas Eve. My husband's out of town for work, so it's just me and my daughter. Actually, let's go see what she's up to. Knock, knock. Mom, get out. That's my daughter. Honey, do you want some hot chocolate? I can make it with extra marshmallows. Yeah, that's cool. You hear that? She thinks I'm cool. Oh, and can you please take down that picture of me you posted on your Instagram? What? Why? Because I look insane, and like a billion people have already seen it. Well, I think you look slay. Some people don't know this about me, but last year I actually turned into quite the internet celebrity. My 
my Instagram account, hotmama underscore one, totally popped off when I posted a picture with the one and only Channing Tatum. It doesn't look like you follow me. Every day I go to my Pilates class and today they're throwing a Christmas party. Okie doke, I just got back. I had a couple of errands to run, but I on accident spent like two hours in Target. Whoops, but look what I got. Well, what is it? It's a headband for you. Oh, looks like the food I ordered is here. Thanks. I order because I hate cooking. Honey, dinner's ready. Whoa, did you just hear something? My mom's home, hi. Hey, the food's here. Okay, I'll be there in a second. New shoes? Oh, yeah. Come eat dinner and tell your guest he can join us too. I can't sleep, so I'm binge watching Married at First Sight with my babies. Well, that's it. Remember to live, laugh, love, and kiss a cat today. Hey, are you hungry? Babe, we ate like an hour ago. Pretty sure it was like two hours ago, but anyways, I'm starving. Okay, well, what sounds good? Nothing. I'm so nauseous. Is Miss Flo here? Yes. Here, hand me my phone. I'll help you look for something to eat. Um, who's Grace? Grace, my cousin? So excited to see you next weekend. It's been way too long. Does that sound like something a cousin would say? Yes, next weekend's my grandma's 80th birthday party. The whole family's getting together. Mm, sure. Baby, stop. You know you're my girl. My girl? Oh my god, I almost forgot about that movie. It's the one where the little boy gets stung by the bees. What? It's a movie called My Girl. I haven't seen it since I was a kid. So you're crying about a movie you haven't seen since you were a kid? No, I'm crying because I actually don't know why I'm crying right now. I'm just emotional, okay? Okay, well, how can I help? I don't know. Talk to my uterus. Your actual uterus, okay? Um, hey, dude. Dude. I don't know. Do you want me to name it? Yes. And it's a girl, by the way. All right. Uh, hey, Samantha. I know you're angry right now, but I promise in like five days you'll feel all better. And? And we're gonna get you some ice cream and some Ad bill and I promise you'll be back to your old self in no time. Okay, how was that? That was beautiful, baby. Thank <gasps> what? I'm tripping. <laughs> All right, honey, did you finish writing your Christmas list? Oh, yes, here you go. Wow, okay, there's a couple things on here that you might need to explain to me. Wait, mom, you didn't ask me for a Christmas list. How are you gonna know what to get me? Underwear, socks, toothbrush, lame, the new PS5. Whoa, no way! Okay, anyways, we've got AirPods, slippers, lip scrub, whoa. What? Lucy, where am I supposed to get you a cure for my depression or thicker eyebrows? I don't know, online? Okay, Uggs, travel hand sanitizer, Timothy Chalamet, Honey, what? You said write down all the things you want or need, and Timothy Chalamet is definitely on that list. Okay, for a season two of Wednesday, and my ex to get fugly? Fugly. And a booty like J-Lo. Uh, Lucy Ann. What? Okay, there's only a couple more. Keep reading. All right, okay, a puppy. Oh, absolutely not. Starbucks card, Taylor Swift concert tickets. Oh, that could be doable. I love T-Swift. Actually, that's like the least doable thing on the list. Really? All right, well, I'll get this over to Santa Claus. OMG guys, it's Lexi, and welcome to a day in my life. Usually I wake up and text my super dreamy boyfriend, Luke M, but my parents took my phone away, so that's not gonna happen. Ugh, I wonder what Luke M's doing right now. <laughs> For breakfast, I'm eating this cheese stick thing because I do not want to go downstairs and talk to my mom right now. You guys probably don't know my story, but last week was the best and worst week of my entire life. It started out awesome because me and Luke M got nominated as homecoming king and queen as freshmen, can you believe it? But things took a turn for the worst on Wednesday when my mom called me with some bad news. Hello? What? So it turns out that Trent, the school bully, got kicked out of the dance group. You probably already saw the clip of him getting kicked out on Instagram. You guys can't kick me out. Do you even know who my dad is? Okay, he's a lawyer. It's going totally viral. But when they took him down to the station, he told everyone that I must have spiked his drink. The only time I spike is on the volleyball court. Luckily, there was no evidence, but that didn't matter to my mom. When I got home, she went off saying, your behavior lately has been unacceptable. So until you show some real change, you're grounded. And your father and I have decided to homeschool you. Yeah, homeschool me. So basically my life is over. <laughs> This is way worse than public school, and that's saying a lot. For dinner, I'm having mac and cheese with a side of tears because I'm sad and I just started my period. But at least I have my TV. Have you ever seen America's Next Top Model? Okay, it's midnight and I just snuck into my parents' room and stole my phone back. I'm gonna try to call Alexis and- Oh, sh Okay, girl, you ready to go to the store? Did you just call me a whore? No, I said the store. Are you wearing your hearing aids? Oh, no, they don't match my outfit. Who are you trying to impress? Your husband died 10 years ago. Well, I told you that my daughter moved me into that senior living facility, right? Yeah, the one down by the lake? Yes, well, you will not believe the amount of eligible bachelors that live there. Really? Oh, yes, last night I sat by this total silver fox at Bingo, and don't even get me started about Leo. <gasps> Who's Leo? Oh, he's my nurse, and you can call me a crazy old lady, but I'm pretty sure he's into me. Ugh. God, what I wouldn't do to be young again. What do you mean? You don't look a day over 70. Thanks, but I feel like everything on my body is just melting at this point. Now, nah, look at those cakes. Have you been doing some senior water aerobics or something? Girl, this is a diaper. Oh, my bad. So what are we getting at the store? What were we getting at the store? I forgot. Are you sure you're still good to drive? They took my license away when I turned 80. Me too, but I have a fake ID that says I'm 65. <laughs> Heck yeah, just like old times. Just like old times. Come on, let's go.
Hey, sorry I'm late for my shift. Has it been busy? No, it hasn't been too bad. Oh my god, are you limping? Yeah, last night my mom called me to tell me that my uncle got into a motorcycle accident and I stubbed my toe on the way to the bathroom to throw up. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Why'd you come into work today? Excuse me, ma'am. Could you point me in the direction of the head lice treatment? Yeah, those are gonna be aisle five. Sorry, what do you mean why'd I come in? I mean, you were clearly upset by the news so much so that it made you throw up. Oh, my uncle's gonna be fine. Just a couple scrapes and bruises. I threw up because I'm pregnant. <laughs> Oh my god, congratulations! How far along are you? About 12 weeks. Well, that's so exciting! I love babies! Yeah, I don't, but you know, I really hope I like this one. See, I don't know exactly who the baby daddy is, and quite frankly, none of the candidates would make a good father, so I'm gonna be raising this little peanut all by myself. Oh, well, my mom was a single mom, and she did great, so I'm sure you will too. I mean, I think I know who the baby daddy is, but honestly, he's not that cute. And what if it's a girl? And what if she looks just like him? Okay. I have a lot of trauma from being bullied in elementary school, and I don't want that for my kid. Girl, you're gorgeous. I promise you have nothing to worry about. Thanks but I haven't always been here. Look, this is me in sixth grade. No, you're cute. Oh my God, that hat though. Yeah, I wore it every single day after my parents got divorced. It was my emotional support fedora. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Excuse me, sorry. I still can't find it anywhere and it's pretty urgent. I'll be back. Right this way, sir. And because she was asking, I was not going to give her anything free. So, and then she said that I was losing money by not giving her something free. Don't ask me, I don't know. Everybody knows you don't ask for something free. It's like an unwritten rule or something, but... I was actually the one who gave that dude a free cough yesterday. Um, his wife was sick and he was out to get her medicine and I thought that was really sweet. So I just gave him a coffee. He, he was really appreciative. So exactly. That's why I told her that if you're nice to cashiers, you might get something free. So I don't know. She left. That's so weird. Hi, how can I help you? I just want a Pepsi. That's it. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, we are out of Pepsi this morning, but that's the whole reason I came here. I'm sorry, I know that's probably really frustrating. Uh, we do have other drinks though. We have other sodas, we have teas, we have coffee, we have water. I'll just take a different soda and make it large. Sure, no worries, that will be $2. You're still gonna make me pay for it? Well, yes, you still have to pay for a drink if you're getting a drink, but you didn't have what I wanted. I understand that, but you're still getting something to drink, so I still have to charge you for it, unless you don't want anything to drink anymore. Fine, you guys are out of Pepsi and you still make me pay. Thank you. All right, well, here's that large cup. You have a great day. Watch this woman go down to the soda fountain, see that the Pepsi's out, and go talk to my coworker about how she was not told that the Pepsi was out and that she wants to talk to a manager because she was not informed of this correctly. My coworker then told me to go grab the manager because she was busy at the time, which was completely fine because I had to explain this to the manager anyway. Hey, manager, what are you drinking? Hmm. It's my greens. What's up, Jillian? There's a customer that wants to talk to you. Okay, about what? I had this lady come up and try to order a Pepsi. I told her we didn't have any. She complained. We had a whole conversation about how she was frustrated that we didn't have Pepsi. I told her we had other drinks. She ordered another drink. She went over to the soda fountain, saw we didn't have Pepsi, and then complained to my coworker that I didn't inform her correctly that we didn't have Pepsi. So now she wants to talk to you. All right, I'll be right there. Hi, ma'am. Was there something I could help you with? I obviously ordered a Pepsi and you guys are out of Pepsi and I was not informed of this. Okay, so did you want a refund? Well, I'm just confused why nobody told me about this, so I should get a free drink. I had to pay for this, and I paid for a Pepsi that you guys don't even have. So I actually already know that my employee explained that we didn't have Pepsi this morning, so if you want, I can gladly give you a refund for that, but I'm not going to give you a refund. But, so since you already paid for that cup, you can go ahead and get whatever you wanted, because you did pay for it. But if not, I'm going to go ahead and get you a refund, and you can be on your way. I'll just get a drink, because I'm not going to have another conversation with your employee over there. Perfect, you have a great day then. She ended up getting a drink and then leaving, um, but she did give me a really dirty look as she walked out because I'm guessing that her plan of getting a free drink just didn't work. Thanks for calling the place I work at. This is Jillian. How can I help you? Hi, I need to order some plain bagels for tonight. Okay, how many were you thinking and what time were you going to pick them up? I want six plain bagels for 7 p.m. tonight. All right, perfect. That will be 7.50 and I can go ahead and take your payment over the phone today. Oh, no, I'd rather not. So unfortunately, I do have to have you pay to get this order. You can either pay online if you're not comfortable with paying over the phone or pay on the phone just with me. It's kind of an incentive to get people to come pick up their food, you know, late. I guess I'll just pay over the phone with you. It's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Okay, perfect. She goes ahead and she gives me your payment information. And just to let you know, we will give you a courtesy call at 7.30 just in case you're not here or you may have forgotten. But if you're not in the store by 7.59, you will have to pick up your order tomorrow. Yes, I know how orders work. You really didn't have to give me all of that information. Okay, well, uh, I will see you at 7 o'clock tonight. Great. At 7.30, she's still not here, so I give her a call. Hello? Hi, this is Jillian with the place I work at. Um, I have an order for you for six bagels for 7 o'clock tonight, and it's now 7.30. I just was wondering if you're still wanting to come pick those up. Well, obviously, I paid for them. 
okay, well, I just wanted to let you know that they're still here. And if you're not here in the next 29 minutes, you're going to have to pick them up tomorrow because we will be closed at eight. Yes, I know that. I will be there. Oh. Okay. At 7.57, this woman calls. Hello, thanks for calling the place I work at. This is Jillian. How can I help you? Hi, are you the one that took my order for the bagels? Yes, that was me. Okay, great. I just wanted to let you know that I'll be there in 15 minutes. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. If you're not here in the next two minutes in the store, you will have to pick them up tomorrow. Uh, no. You told me that if I paid for them, I could come pick them up. No, I told you that we take payment as an incentive to have people come pick them up. But I also told you that if you were not in store by 7 you will have to pick them up tomorrow morning. Well, whether you like it or not, I will be there in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, and we will be closed, so have a great night. By the time we had left, she still hadn't shown up yet, but the next morning, guess who came in? And guess who was working? Hi, how can I help you? Are you the one who took my order yesterday and then decided to close the store, even though I had paid for my order so I couldn't come pick it up? Yes, we closed the store at 8 like I said we would, but I went ahead and I put your bagels back, you know, just in case you did show up, so I already have those if you want them. Yes, of course I want them, and it's really frustrating that I couldn't come pick up my order last night. Oh ma'am, I told you multiple times that we closed at 8, and if you're not in the store at 759, you would have to pick up your bagels this morning. I gave you a courtesy call at 730 last night, and you told me to be there, and you called me at 757 saying you'd be there in 15 minutes. Unfortunately, we close at 8 and not what. Well, I just think as a customer, I should be able to come get something, especially if I paid for it. Yes, you can definitely come get something while we're open. So, here are your bagels. Have a great day. Next time, we'll just order online. Okay, as long as you pick up while we're open. Hi, how can I help you? I have been coming here all the time for the past six months. For the past six months, I have ordered the same breakfast sandwich. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Should be easy enough. And for the past five months, it has not tasted good. Okay. Aren't you gonna do anything about it? Like it hasn't tasted good for five months. Have you thought about ordering something else? I don't want to order something else. But don't you think I would have thought of that? If I wanted to order something else, I would have. Right. So, I'm sorry, what do you want me to do about this? Oh, not for getting the half of it. When I was leaving your drive through today, after ordering the sandwich, you said it just isn't good anymore. I hate your curve, which is, by the way, terribly placed. Can I speak to somebody who's just not you? No, I'm not going to go get my manager and have you tell him that you've been ordering the same thing for the past five months even though you don't think it's good, but yet you still order it. And I'm also not going to have you 